uploaded again. He's fucking done it. Van Dorn, solo again. This is the lyric video. It came out 14 minutes ago. So without further ado, let's go. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's wait for Van Dorn, Skull 2. Let's go. I couldn't even wait. I couldn't even wait. Oi, what is this beat? What is this beat? What is it? It sounds sort of like it's 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 like a mix between elevator music and club music. I'm loving the 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 sort of juxtaposition between both of them because they're like opposite ends. Elevator music, you just it's 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 a it's a slow ride, you know. Whereas a club music, it's very fast paced. It's a it's a fast ride. It's bumpy. It's edgy, you know. Solo again. It feels like he's um like already he's 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 missing something. So something is absent, but he's also he's also bringing in absence of of feeling. You know, it feels like he's feeling too much or he's felt too much. So now he's trying to numb himself. He's just trying to find a girlfriend for tonight. And he's, he's where, whereas he would have been holding a hand, he's now holding a beer. Do you know what I mean? Absence of feeling, man. Oh, I hope that's not like a running theme throughout this album because he will make me cry. ไวรัสสงสารเฮ้ยเฮ้ยชื่อจนกระตือใบบ้าสแนฮาชื่อเอลลี่ชมกระปุ๋มรบกันกาสราเฮ้ยอุ้มนี่สวายรักสงสารเ
ai khôi chết ta ai nhưng tôi chết ta ai snare hát đời đời không cầm play ôn chia tụi ai ôn phú ca xong đây thay ní mình là rong thà đối ai cả chư chân bật tơ tơ bài ba snare ha bên ní cũng không được vội gắn cao xa yum ní xoay rock song xa That saxophone. That saxophone sounds almost exactly identical to um, to the end of "Catch Me If You Can." Um, so obviously, solo again is going to be something that's that's going to be a theme throughout Skull Two. Obviously, that's the big one we're waiting for, you know. But that saxophone again. This is how I can also tell as well. Not only has Van Dahl produced this, but Songha has also been, he's either produced parts of this or he's been a part of the production process or the mixing process or the mastering process. Song Ha has been involved in this record somehow and I can tell by that at the start and the saxophone now. Don't get it twisted. Song Ha is an elite level producer. Elite. Khmer, global, doesn't matter. He's elite. <laughs> I'm just feeling this, like this, this, this bit of saxophone. I'm just feeling it, and there's little like there's little breaks in there that I don't know. I don't know where these have been sampled from. Maybe like a, a 19, 1970s or nineteen eighties beat uh, uh, beat record, where it was literally four breaks of beats. Um, but there's like a running throughout the saxophone as well, and it's reminded me of like early nineties music, like club music. It takes two to make a thing go right. If you don't know that song, you need to get to know that song. Um, ask me what it is in the comment section. I'll let you know. Um, but some people from from Cambodia might not know that. It takes two to make it out of sight. And I'm not the greatest singer, so don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 breaks in the beat sound exactly the same. This is crazy. It's taking me back and taking me forward at the same time. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so before when he said that, that, that I was holding her hand now I'm holding a beer if you let me hold your hand, I will take you to space. So maybe, maybe he's saying that that love is the strongest drug. So if you let me hold your hand instead of this beer, I can take you to space and I can I can make you more I can make you higher than any drug can. And then he says he says that that you need to see love from a higher perspective. I swear that's what he says. <laughs> From a higher perspective, you can see how love fits better into your life. From a higher perspective. But you can only be that high if you are in love. Because love is the strongest drug and it makes you higher than, than anything else. So you're able to look down and have that perspective. 
So he's saying, let love into your life. That's, that's, that whole verse, that whole verse was just to say, let love into your life. Wow. I, 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 Van Dor has a way with words. However, I feel like he starts with a very simple premise and then stretches it out as much as he can. But the way that he does it is beautiful. It's beautiful. There's, 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 there's not many people on this planet that can do that like Van Dor to take a simple, a simple process and then create an entire scheme around it. <sighs> Most people struggle. He doesn't. <laughs> Like the way he's got flows patterned down in this beat as well, because this beat is like very, is 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 very all over the place, you know. But he's managing to to weave a strong enough web throughout this whole beat, and it's 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 coming together beautifully. Not only is there a message, but there's a method behind it. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Goosebumps listening to that, I swear to God. Do you ever get goosebumps and then your back starts itching and you can't get there? I used to have a back scratcher as well. What the fuck happened to that? Anyway, um, Van Dor coming with, again, another banger. Another, there wasn't, do you know what? I was expecting it to be like, um, like, like solo slash if I die. Like, th th there'd be like a, a change in there. But I suppose... Maybe because last time the whole thing that was changing was his circumstances. He was going from a poor man to, uh, you know, quite a well-off man. Um, and he was going to have him having, you know, very little in terms of social, uh, like a social aspect or, or friends or anything because of the place that he lived. He was, you know, beachside, barely any people there. Moved out into the big city, so a lot changed. So maybe that's why there were, there were changes in the songs. Whereas now it feels like he's going through the same emotions over and over and over again. And this record feels like he's giving up. He's giving up because he's just, he's just going out. He's just looking for a, for a girlfriend just for tonight. Or he's just looking for some company just for tonight. It feels like he's, like he's giving up. I don't like that. I don't like that attitude, Van Gogh. He's still keeping a positive mindset to him, but I just feel like he needs to be a lot more positive because he's he's got such a bright future ahead of him. It's just these these negative thoughts, these demons. But if you'll pardon the pun, these demons. Oh my my, oh my my, I got monsters. <laughs> um, they're just on his mind constantly, and he needs you need to combat that. You need to get rid of them. And you also need to get rid of these women that you're only having in your life for one night. It's not worth it. They don't bring anything to you internally, spiritually, mentally. They don't bring anything to you. You need love, you know? You 
you either need love or you need you need to invigorate passion into what it is that you're doing. That's all it is. That's all it is. And he's obviously finding passion in this music still because Skull 2 is going to be a masterpiece. We're already hearing saxophones, pianos, little beat breaks. <laughs> Not ready. But I am ready and I've been waiting. Skull 2 coming soon. Please subscribe. Teddy Gray on some stuffs. <laughs>